Okay, our next topic is the evaluation of a thyroid nodule. Now, when we're evaluating thyroid nodule, what's the first thing that we have to look at? We have to check the TSH. And if the TSH is decreased, we know we have a toxic nodule. And basically, toxic nodules are actively secreting thyroid hormone. And when we have a toxic nodule, the chance of cancer is going to be zero. And what we're going to do to see if the nodule is the source is a nuclear scan. And on the nuclear scan, if it's a hot nodule and there's focal uptake, it's going to be a thyroid adenoma and we're going to do surgical excision. If we do the nuclear scan and if there's diffuse uptake, it's going to be Graves disease. That's going to be the cause and we're going to actually treat the symptoms of Graves disease. What do we do first? Our first step is going to be PTU acutely and propanolol for symptomatic treatment. And remember, pregnant patients in the first trimester get low-dose PTU, and in the second trimester, they get surgery. Next, we're going to give radioactive iodine for permanent resolution. We have to remember, acutely, we cannot give radioactive iodine because it's going to release more thyroid hormone into the circulation. If a patient refuses radioactive iodine, or if the large goiter or if it's a large goiter that's causing tracheal compression, we're gonna do surgery. Okay, so what are indications of surgery? Pregnant patients in the second trimester, or if a patient refuses radioactive iodine for permanent ablation, or if there's a large goiter that's causing tracheal compression, we're gonna do surgery. Pregnant patients in the first, tri first trimester, what do they get? Low dose PTU. After we give the radioactive iodine, you remember, you wanna follow these patients every six months. And remember, when we're treating hyper or hypothyroidism, the best thing to look at to see if meds are actually working is the free T4 because TSH actually has a two-week lag time, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to give PTU first. Then we're going to give propanolol for symptomatic treatment, radioactive iodine, and we're going to follow these every six months. And when they become hypothyroid, we're going to actually give them T4. Now, on the toxic nodule, we did the nuclear scan. If we see a cold nodule, a non-functioning nodule, this is when, a good, when we're going to do a fine needle aspiration. Okay? Now, we have a thyroid nodule. We check the TSH. If the TSH is decreased, we follow this algorithm we just spoke about right now. And if, the, if there was no change in the TSH... Our first step is to differentiate a non-toxic nodule from cancer. Because remember, if there's no symptoms and there's no change in the TSH, it could possibly be cancer. So the way we're going to differentiate a non-toxic nodule from cancer is actually by doing a fine needle aspiration. Based on the FNA, if it's benign, we're going to follow these patients and observe them, but we're not going to intervene. And on FNA, if it's cancer, remember... Most common cancer is papillary cancer. Papillary cancer, small tumors, they're going to get surgery with removal of the thyroid, and T3 or T4 is going to be administered to the patient. If we have papillary and it's a large tumor, remember, we're going to give surgery plus radiation. So small tumors, just surgery. Large tumors, surgery plus radiation. Follicular cancer is a lot less common but a lot more severe. And if we see follicular cells, and that's it, we're just going to remove the adenoma and do an excisional biopsy. And if we see a follicular carcinoma, we have to do a total thyroidectomy with post-operative radioablation. And if there's um, the detection of recurrence is actually going to be measured by using thyroglobulin levels. So if you see an MCQ question on your test, and a patient's been diagnosed, worked up and diagnosed with follicular carcinoma, and they ask you, what's the best thing to detect recurrence? We're actually going to use thyroglobulin levels. So quick review. Thyroid nodule, what's our first step? We're going to check the TSH. If it's decreased, we know it's a toxic nodule. And in order to see if the nodule is a source, we're going to do a nuclear scan. If it's cold, it's a cold nodule, and non-functioning, we're going to do an FNA. If it's a hot nodule and functioning, 
and there's focal uptake, we know it's a thyroid adenoma and we're going to do surgical excision. If there's diffuse uptake, it's going to be Graves causing it and we're going to do PTU and propanolol for symptomatic treatment. Pregnant patients, remember, in the first trimester, they get low-dose PTU and in the second trimester, they get surgery. After we do PTU acutely and propanolol for symptomatic treatment, we're going to do radioactive iodine for permanent resolution. And we have to remember in the acute Graves disease, we do not give radioactive iodine because it's actually going to cause more thyroid to release into the circulation. We're going to follow these patients every six months and we're going to actually measure the free T4 to see if the meds are working because TSH has a two-week lag time. And our other indications for surgery is if the patient refuses the radioactive iodine or if the large goiter is causing tracheal compression, we're going to do surgery as well as pregnant patients in the second trimester. Now, if, there's, if we, we have a thyroid nodule and we check the TSH and there's no symptoms and there's no change in the TSH, we have to think it could possibly be cancer. And we're going to differentiate a non-toxic nodule from cancer by doing an FNA. And on the FNA, if it's benign, we're going to follow and observe, but we're not going to intervene. And if it's cancer, our most common is papillary. And small papillary tumors are just going to get surgery. And T3 or T4 is going to be re uh, replenished for this patient. And the large tumors are going to get radiation along with surgery. And on FNA, if it's cancer and we see follicular, if it's follicular cells alone, we're going to just remove the adenoma and do an excisional biopsy. And if we see a follicular carcinoma, we have to do a total thyroidectomy with post-operative radioiodine ablation. And the best thing to detect recurrence is by measuring thyroglobulin levels.